Is the 2025 Subaru WRX worth your attention, or is it another gas-guzzling sporty sedan? Can its rally racing roots and turbocharged power outweigh its thirst for fuel? Today, we dive into the details of the 2025 Subaru WRX, a car that promises excitement on the road, but might leave you questioning its practicality. With a turbocharged flat four engine and all wheel drive, this compact sedan brings a lot to the table. But is it enough to stand out among fierce competitors like the Honda Civic C and Volkswagen GTI? Stick around to discover if the 2025 WRX can truly deliver the thrills you crave without burning a hole in your wallet. And hey, if you're into cars and want more honest reviews and insights, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subaru's 2025 WRX sticks to the winning formula of a sporty compact sedan with a turbocharged flat four engine that powers all four wheels. This unique setup comes from its roots in rally racing, where cars zoom down unpredictable country roads. All-wheel drive is essential for handling different surfaces like dirt, gravel, and asphalt, while the small but mighty turbocharged engine helps the car speed out of corners. On the road or track, the WRX brings a lot of fun. However, its powerful engine isn't the best for fuel economy. The combination of a big four-cylinder engine, turbocharging, and all-wheel drive makes the WRX consume more fuel than its rivals. For instance, the WRX with an automatic transmission gets an EPA estimated 21 miles per gallon combined, whereas the Volkswagen GTI gets 27 miles per gallon. This difference can add up for performance cars that need premium fuel. The 2025 WRX stands out as one of the original sports compacts, but it's not alone. The Honda Civic C and Volkswagen GTI are also in the mix. The Civic might have less power, but it's easier on the wallet. The GTI, with its hatchback design, offers extra practicality. You could also look at the Subaru BRZ Coupe or its sibling, the Toyota GR86. However, among these options, only the WRX boasts all-wheel drive. The Edmunds vehicle testing team evaluates new cars every week, combining track tests with real-world driving on city streets, freeways, and winding roads. Our expert ratings come from over 30 scores, covering every part of the driving experience. The WRX delivers a noticeable performance boost compared to the Impreza and is fairly comfortable for daily drives. However, beyond its performance, there's not much else that makes the WRX a must-have. So, how does the WRX handle it? It's not the fastest one out there, but it's a blast to drive. We tested one with a manual transmission, and it zipped from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6 seconds at the Edmunds test track. That's quick enough, though it needs a pretty harsh launch to hit that time. We haven't tested the automatic version yet. The WRX shines when darting through twists and turns on a winding road. Its strong mid-range power, all-wheel drive, steady suspension, and sharp steering make for an exhilarating drive. However, the brakes don't inspire the confidence we'd like. The pedal feels too soft for a sporty car. Despite this, it stopped at our test track from 60 miles per hour in just 110 feet, which is pretty decent for its class. How comfy is the WRX? Well, it's pretty top-notch in its class for both ride quality and seating comfort. After hours of driving, we felt no significant fatigue or pain. The seats hold you firmly during corners and provide solid support. The climate controls, integrated into the larger center touchscreen, can be tricky to master and a bit distracting at first. However, most owners will get used to them quickly. On the downside, the WRX isn't the quietest. There's a noticeable engine rumble at highway speeds and some wind noise over the doors and mirrors. How's the inside of the WRX? Up front, it feels spacious for its class, making it easy to find a great driving position. The adjustable steering column and driver's seat offer various settings. All the controls are within easy reach, and despite the center screen looking a bit intimidating, everything else is pretty user-friendly. The back seat, however, is a bit tight, especially with the transmission tunnel running through the middle. So, avoid placing your tall friends in the center seat. On the bright side, getting in and out is a breeze thanks to the wide opening doors. Once inside, you get a good view forward through the large windows. The big trunk line does make rear visibility a bit tricky compared to other cars in the class, but it's not a deal breaker. How's the tech in the WRX? The 11.6 inch center screen is a standout. It boasts crisp graphics and responds quickly to touch. 
While some might find the portrait style layout odd, it's easy to get the hang of. Navigation is a breeze, thanks to the clear, high-contrast display. The 11-speaker Harman Kardon stereo is another high point, delivering top-notch, great audio, even at high volumes. Smartphone connections are speedy, and voice controls are straightforward, with helpful on-screen prompts and natural language recognition. Our test car lacked optional driver aids, like adaptive cruise control and forward collision mitigation. However, the blind spot warning system and lane keeping assistance worked well, with no false or overly sensitive alerts. How's the storage in the WRX? A sporty, compact sedan has some stiff competition, especially from models available as sedans and hatchbacks or just hatchbacks. The WRX gives you 12.5 cubic feet of trunk space, a bit less than the Honda Civic C and Hyundai Elantra N offer. Thankfully, the rear seats fold down, making it easier to fit longer items. The storage is decent for smaller stuff. There's enough room for smartphones and small water bottles. Installing child seats in the back is fairly straightforward due to the wide opening doors, though the limited rear legroom might be a bit tight for larger seats. How's the fuel economy? The EPA estimates that a manual equipped WRX gets 22 miles per gallon in combined driving, making it one of the least efficient in its class. On our 115 mile Edmunds test loop, the WRX averaged 24 miles per gallon. That matches its rating, but rivals like the Volkswagen Golf GTI and Hyundai Elantra N are more fuel efficient. Is the WRX a good value? The build quality is top notch. With many soft touch surfaces, the WRX feels premium from the moment you get in. However, its fuel economy lags behind competitors in even previous models. It's also pricier than many high-performing compact sedans. The WRX's warranty is standard for its class, 3 years or 36,000 miles basic, 5 years or 60,000 miles powertrain, and 5 years or unlimited miles corrosion coverage. Roadside assistance covers the duration of the basic warranty. We're disappointed that Subaru no longer offers the higher-performing WRX STI or even a hatchback version. The plastic panels on the bodywork also have a love-it-or-hate-it vibe. But the WRX is undeniably fun to drive, which really counts. Currently, Subaru hasn't released official info on the 2025 WRX. We'll update our recommendation if anything changes, but based on last year's model, we suggest the premium trim for the best value. It has heated seats, mirrors, and wipers, making it ideal for cold climates. Plus, the larger infotainment touchscreen is a great upgrade. The Subaru WRX sedan has five trims, Base, Premium, Limited, TR, and GT. All trims feature a turbocharged 2.4-liter flat-four engine with 271 horsepower and a 258 pound-per-feet of torque. All-wheel drive is standard across the board. The six-speed manual transmission comes standard on all but the GT trim. The premium and limited trims offer an optional continuously variable automatic transmission, which is standard on the GT. What do you think about the 2025 Subaru WRX? Does it hit the mark or fall short of your expectations? Drop your thoughts and comments down below. And if you enjoyed this review or found it helpful in any way, please hit that subscribe button and join our community for more in-depth car reviews and automotive content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.